So my total amount I made is So bad news, my stupid DoorDash, I hate DoorDash. The traffic was so bad getting into Austin that where I was scheduled, I did not make it there in time. So they canceled my dash. Thank God I have Grubhub scheduled all day, but that doesn't start for another hour. So I'm pissed off. I'm not even to where I wanted to be, but now I don't know if I should go there because I won't even be scheduled to DoorDash. You know what I'm saying? So now I don't know if that's where I should do Grubhub because I can do Grubhub basically anywhere. So I'm not happy. Just wanted to update you. So now I don't know when I'm gonna have my first order. I'm so annoyed. Okay, y'all, so I have gotten no orders or nothing. Sorry if you hear the blinking, I'm about to turn. So I decided to turn my Postmates on and I actually got an order, but I think I've talked about it before, but I don't know if I've actually talked about it in a video that I ended up uploading. I don't like Postmates because you can't, at least to my knowledge, you can't see how much you're gonna be getting paid. But this one wasn't like a super far order, even though I do think I had to place it. But it's at McDonald's, so I thought, why not? So I'll update you guys at the end to let you know how much I made from it because I just don't know. But for like DoorDash, if I end up getting any or Grubhub, I'm actually gonna take a screenshot of how much I made and show it to you for that, like per order, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'll let you know how this goes. So I got the McDonald's stuff. They forgot the drink, so I had to ask them for the drink. So we got the drink. And then while I was in there waiting, I actually got a Grubhub order. I was happy because finally at least I'm getting some orders, you know what I mean? So, yeah. But this one isn't very far. I'm glad I took it. Yeah, I'll let you guys know once I get there and how much I made on that Postmates order. I'll take a screenshot of it once it actually shows me. And, yeah. And then I'm going to go pick up the order for Grubhub. Except, oh my gosh, of course it's to IHOP. Anyone else out there hate going to IHOP because... I've, oh my gosh, IHOP could be such a good restaurant if they just had good staff and if they just knew how to do things. Like, I've been there before, just waited and waited and waited and waited. Or I've seen other people get furious. I saw this older man get so angry at them because they took so long to even ask him what he was doing and he just wanted to be seated. And they had literally like no one in their store or their restaurant. It was, they're unbelievable. Sorry, that's my little rant about IHOP. I'll let you go. We're back, I just dropped it off. Literally, you guys, before tip, because like I said, Postmates, I don't think they give you a tip right away, or I don't really know how it works, to be honest. So I'm gonna update you on that one. Like, you'll know now, but I won't know until tomorrow. So when I'm editing this, I'll know how much I made, but it told me that I made 385, I think, before a tip. So that's not a lot, and it was really close, so I'm like, whatever, it's fine. But I really hope they maybe tip me, because that would be nice, it means 385 is like, chump change you know but whatever so now we're going to IHOP I'm stressed because it's kind of far it was like 6.1 miles just to get to IHOP but that's not that bad if I think about it it's like not that bad so and I don't think um it was super far from IHOP but it could be far it could be like another six miles and I actually got an Instacart offer but I obviously declined it means I'm doing this right now but it was for like $25 but it was for 50 items and I hate I liked Instacart at first, okay? I'll tell you that, I liked you guys. But then I stopped because I got really sweaty the other day. Sorry about the lighting again, but I got so sweaty when I last did it a couple weeks ago for the first time and was like exhausted and it took a long time. Like finding things takes a long time when people or when they're out of certain things and then you have to figure out, okay, what do I, what do I have to swap this with? And it'll kind of give you ideas and stuff what to swap it with. It's just, for me, it was kind of like, frustrating and stressful like I think Instacart is a lot more stressful than what I'm doing right now so I'm just gonna stick with this if it gets really boring throughout the day and I have no more offers then I will do Instacart and I'll take you guys along with me but probably not gonna be doing Instacart today I'm hoping at least and yeah so I know that it's just kind of me just telling you what I'm doing but it's like a day in the life okay with driving so I don't know what else you want from me okay I'm sorry but hopefully you're enjoying this video and you can see how much money I'm making even though we got started on not the right foot. I Means DoorDash wants to screw us over like they always do. So, you know. 
I'll let you guys know what happens with this order and how much I make. Okay, you guys, I got the IHOP food and then I got an offer to pick up a stupid Instacart, but it was just one bag. Like I literally only have to go pick up one bag and it's somewhat on the way to where I need to go drop this off, kind of, kind of. I feel kind of bad because I shouldn't do that, but it's like I'm not really out of the way. And so I think I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna go pick that up before I drop the food off and then we're gonna hurry our asses up and go drop off the food and then drop off that one bag of, of literally they just got one item. So we're just gonna drop off one item. So that's nice. But yeah, that's the plan. Wanted to update you guys. We just dropped off the um, IHOP order to the guy and he was super nice and I was like 15 minutes late and my stupid GPS messed me up because there was construction and so I had to like go an extra five minutes so on top of me being late already then I was even more late and he gave me a six dollar tip in cash too along with the 14 I made so I made over twenty dollars on that order so it was worth it okay I felt bad though I was like oh my gosh I like almost didn't even want to take the money because I was so late I still haven't dropped off the Instacart order I don't know if I told y'all but that was literally only an order for a big bag of dog food so yeah and then I got another Grubhub order for $11.09 so I'm doing that one too but I'm gonna drop this off first because that doesn't need to be picked up till like 11.05 which is another 25 to 30 minutes so I'm gonna drop this off then head there and get that I'm on another order went to a place called La Medellin never been there before but here's the food so we're doing that I have to pee so incredibly badly that it's literally unbelievable and uh, unbelievable and I just dropped off the dog food right before this, so that's all you guys have really missed. And now I'm on my way. I'm stuck at a light. Oh, now it's green. And I'm about to go drop this off. And all I can think about is how much I have to pee. So that was really sad. But let you know how much this one is for. I can't remember. You guys, I don't like downtown Austin. Just picked up the food from a place that I literally could not find. This one was a pain in the ass to find. My GPS, Grubhub, oh my God. Every delivery app will give you the wrong address. It makes no sense. They literally took me nowhere near the place, so I started walking, then realized when I actually searched the place by name on Google Maps, then it took me to the right place. But the address that Grubhub gives does not take you to the right place every time, so just beware, okay? Beware, you guys. All right, you guys, so I finally got to pee, just letting you know that was nice. I dropped off the last delivery. I don't even know if I already told you that, but I feel like I already did, so yes. But, or maybe I didn't, I don't know. I had to pee, I think, so I think that's all I did. But anyways, I got another order. I'm actually doing DoorDash now, believe it or not. I'm in a totally different area though because Grubhub took me here. So here we are and they were super busy it said on DoorDash so I was able to log in. They gave me a bunch of orders until I finally accepted one because they were so bad, you guys. They were all under like $7 and then I finally got a $7.26 order. It was like five miles and I said, you know what, I'm just gonna take it. And then I got an add-on order for $2 but it literally was another 0.5 miles and it was to the same, for the same restaurant, Chipotle. So I was like, you know what? Maybe they'll pay me in cash tip or something. I don't know. So that's what I'm hoping for, but I decided to take it anyways because what's 0.5 miles, honestly, you know, whatever. So I'm just gonna do that because then it makes me feel like I'm getting almost $10 for this order, you know? So just wanted to let you guys know what is going on. I need to turn my Grubhub off real fast just for now so I don't get any. So let me do that. Update. We're only taking one order because that $2 add-on, I changed my mind, which I rarely ever do this now. Like my um, completion rate is really good. It's like 96 or maybe 95 now, but I messaged her because she didn't even put her freaking address. Like if you're not gonna put your address, I didn't know if DoorDash, if DoorDash just put like a random area or something because it's totally different than what it was on there. So I'm not gonna even go to that trouble for $2. So I just canceled it because I'm not, I'm just not gonna go to that trouble. Also Chipotle is, packed so I don't want I didn't feel like waiting well I didn't have to wait for this one really so I honestly just didn't want to do it and that's all there is to it so someone else can do it but I'm not doing it for door for two dollars DoorDash needs to pay me more than two dollars to do that even if it's only 0.5 miles I decided no because it was also an office building and so she said to leave it in the office on there and then so I knew for sure that I'm well I don't know for a hundred percent sure if the total would have came out to more but I just feel like one of came out to more than two dollars and that's really just not worth my time you guys are worth more than that if you do this you're worth more than two dollars 
Hello again, you guys. I just got another order as I'm waiting for my food actually at Olive Garden, their car side to go. I love doing that when I can. And the order is literally like 800 feet from me, but I have to get my food first and then go pick up this order and then go deliver the order. So hopefully they get my food out here quick, quick, quick so I can go do it. But thankfully it was super close. It was only six bucks, but what are you gonna do? And I had another offer from Grubhub, but I declined because it's trying to take me back to downtown. I'm not a fan of downtown Austin. I hate it. There's a car right next to me, so I feel very uncomfortable. So I'm gonna leave my hand right here. Oh, now I'm good, they're leaving. After I pick up the food, I will drop it off and let you know how that goes. Let you know what the total is. Well, you can see what I'm at right now. Total, right there. Hopefully my food's good. I wish I could kind of eat my food. And by the way, it's one o'clock right now, like exactly one o'clock, so just so you can get a reference. I started at nine something, now it's one o'clock and I've made this much money, so. There's a lady walking back there. Okay, okay you guys, so I got another order that I told you about after I picked up my food from Olive Garden. I just dropped it off. Again, their directions did not take me to Ross. So I had to find Ross myself, very annoying. It's like with every delivery app, I don't know why it's all messed up. Got to figure it out when I typed in Ross. Boom, right address. And now I got another order. Now this is a Grubhub order. It was a place yourself order. Have not had to do one of those. So I actually was able to call them in place of just one pizza, which was nice. And so um, I'm on my way to pick that up. And it said I'm supposed to be there in like literally one minute to pick it up, but food won't even be done for 15 to 20, he said. So I, it's probably gonna be late to the customer, but it's not my fault. I literally just got the order, so there's no possible way for me to place it any sooner. You know what I mean? Let me know what I could do to make this better. Eventually, I really want to have my, one of the cameras Johnny got me to actually film. And so I can use my phone at the same time so I don't have to keep ending things and like, you know, I can just leave it going. And then when I get an order, I can physically show you instead of screenshots and shit. You know what I mean? Cause I don't like doing that, but it's all I have right now. It's all I'm working with. I'm sorry, but we will get there, you guys. We will be a pro one day at delivering, okay? Yes, with a good camera. Yeah, it'll happen. Okay, you guys, sorry about the bad lighting, but I finally got the order at the pizza place it's right here, but it took so damn long. And it was already supposed to be, well, it told me it was supposed to be picked up. This is Grubhub, by the way. That was supposed to be picked up at like 2.37, which it's not even 2.37. So like, that's okay. But it shows that they told them that it would be picked up or be delivered by like 2.30 or 2.25. And it's like already past then. So if someone who works for Grubhub understands why it does that, I would love to know because I still won't get it. So if you know, let me know. I just got my other order, just went to Red Robin. I did not know that they always give you your own fries if you're a driver. I just realized that, that it's a thing they do at Red Robin. I like Red Robin. No other place gives me free food, that's so cool. Does any other place do that? I gotta see where I'm going, one second. Sorry, I'm back, figured out where I was going. I wish every place would give me like free fries, free burger, free milkshake, that'd be cool. I wonder why they do that. If anyone knows, let me know. Otherwise, I'm gonna look it up anyways, actually, probably if I don't forget, but I wanna know why they give out free fries just to people that are delivering because that's just something I haven't heard of before but anyways I'm gonna eat them right now I gotta take these nasty things out so I can eat them so I'm gonna do that I just had a very annoying experience with delivering that red robin order because well kind of annoying probably one of the more annoying ones so far today sorry about this I know it's filthy but I rang the guy's doorbell twice first of all and then knocked on the door I, of course whenever this happens I happen to leave my phone in the car so I had to go all the way back to my car grab my phone call the guy he answered, I'm like, um, I'm here, it's blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh, I didn't hear you. And I'm like, it's fine. So then, then he takes another four minutes to come to the door. I was like, and then I missed the DoorDash order because of it. So now I'm not on any order, by the way. I'm just driving, hoping to get on an order. It was just very annoying. Like, oh my God, it was just, oh, it was just annoying. So I wanted to let you know how annoyed I am because it was really fucking annoying, okay? How many times can I say annoying? But now we're back on the road heading towards the hot spot for our DoorDash because if I didn't tell you, I got on the DoorDash schedule until like five o'clock. So not very much. Oh, I have a new offer, Grubhub. Let me let, I'll see if I'm gonna accept it. Okay, so we accepted that Grubhub order. It was a pretty good order, so we accepted it. And yeah, it was like $12.03, I believe. And it wasn't super far, I don't think, I'm hoping. It's like, I, it was like 10 minutes away from where I am just to get to the restaurant, but that's not bad, right? No, so yeah, I gotta make sure I'm going the right way. Hello, the lighting is really bad, but I just went to a place called, sorry, I have a in my mouth, Eurasia 
sushi bar and seafood. So, taking that one. Sorry again about the lighting. Had a very difficult time with the roads and the maps and other cars. It's just been a nightmare. So, um, yeah, but we're taking it. It was like, how much was this one? I don't even know. Oh, twelve dollars and three cents, I think. Woohoo! So we're doing this one. And then we're gonna see if we get any more. I'm probably only gonna be out here a couple more deliveries, hopefully. So and we finally made over $100, so that's exciting. Yay, even though we've been out here forever, it feels like, but that's okay. <sighs> Anyways, so, yeah. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. I've definitely taken more Grubhub orders. This mitten's all over the place. I've definitely taken more Grubhub orders than any anything else. I only took one Postmates earlier, which was pathetic. $3.85. Um, which I never would have taken if I knew how much it was. Second, or I've only taken a handful, not even a whole a handful of DoorDash orders, I don't think. Maybe, no, I've taken a few, like four probably. And then, I think this is like my seventh Grubhub order, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is like my seventh order. So, just giving you a little rundown of what we've been doing. Oh, yeah, and we took one Instacart. I forgot. So, oh, yeah, we've just had a big variety today. Hopefully, this video isn't too long. Probably won't be that long, but hopefully it makes it to the internet. Who knows? Who really knows? I have not got to take any more orders since the last one I updated you guys about, so that was it for the DoorDashes today. Um, so right here, I don't really know. I think it's like 115 to 116 or something. So not bad, but not like amazing because I was there from what, nine to like four, I think. Yeah, around like nine to four. So it was around, what, close to $20 per hour. So not bad, but then you have to take into consideration that I had to drive. I mean, it's not my hometown and my hometown doesn't get busy at all. And all we have is DoorDash. So yeah, not my hometown, but that town that I live in. So yeah. Just wanted to let you guys know. I don't know how many deliveries I took today. I think I took around like 12, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to do a couple more door dashes probably tonight in my town. But I wanted to do like a full day. And it'll get way too dark for you to see me when I do it here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. It's free. And please subscribe if you've not already. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. I upload like twice a week probably. Not really on specific days, just whenever I feel like it. So yeah, thank you guys again for watching this video and I hope you have a great rest of your day, whatever day it is today.